What's going on guys? My name's Mike. Um, I'm selling my 94 uh, Ford Mustang. It's uh, been pretty heavily modified. Um, very clean, very straight. Um, clean title, ready to go. Uh, I got tons of details in the description. Look there. This is just a walk around. This just gives you an idea of what you would be buying if you want to come buy my All car. Alright, here's the car. It's uh, a nice sunny day in Florida. This is my Mustang. I'm going to give you a walk around and try not to talk too much. See, nice and straight. does not come up over the rear axles. Gives it a good sound. Sorry if this video is super windy. We have a battery disengage switch installed. Uh, it's no longer hooked up, but the switch is there. Nice and straight. Those are uh, 18 inch rims, 275 rear tire, 255 front. It's no longer 5.0, but why advertise a 6.7? Let it be a surprise. All right, here's the interior. All right, sorry if this video quality sucks. Uh, you got your Mach 460 tweeters. Uh, just an aftermarket stereo with a uh, iPod MP3 player auxiliary. It's a smaller wheel. steering wheel. Um, there's the bullet uh, pedals um, and uh, shift knob and shift ring. Um, it has the uh, 460 tweeters on the doors. So very nice. Um, I've got this uh, aftermarket shift light. It's a digital tack and uh, you know, you set the RPM for whatever you want to shift at. That works out excellent. Um, I have a pair of gauges that are through the dash, kind of mounted by the cowl. Um, they are uh, it's just oil pressure and temperature. They're just simple Sun Pros you get anywhere, but man, I've had auto meters, this, that, and the other that were more expensive and failed. And those things are a workhorse. Um, let's see. This is the hidden panel. Uh, this is my start button. Um, that's for the tack. This is a security light, and that used to be my subwoofer. It's no longer hooked up. Uh, and this used to have an ashtray in there. Pretty common mod for these cars. I don't smoke, so no ashtray needed. Um, the rest of the car, uh, these are aftermarket seats. Uh, very light, very comfortable, nice bolsters. Uh, back seats. Pretty clean, doesn't get a whole lot of use. Uh, I've got a pair of uh, Rockford Fosgate speakers in the back, uh, six by nines. Not sure how well you can see that. I forget what's in the doors. I want to say Boston Acoustics. Overall interior is very clean. Um, it's black, so it's impossible to keep clean, especially here in Florida. But I'll pop the hood, give you a look at that. Everything's nice and straight. All right, to pop the hood, because it is a big cow hood, you gotta lift up the wiper, else it will dent it. This shows you the paint quality. Pretty mirror-like in a lot of ways. I uh, just had it polished in the summer, and uh, man, let's see if I can do this one-handed. Uh, that is a 200 amp alternator uh, for the running of a stereo system or whatever. Uh, caster camber plates by BBK. You gotta have them for a lowered car. Um, this car uh, does not have smog, does not have AC. It does have power steering. Uh, these are all underdrive pulleys. Uh, give you a few more horses. 
Uh, that's an HEI style distributor. Uh, it's a very clean setup, super easy. Um, let's see, your typical chrome valve covers, because those are awesome. Uh, that is an aeromotive um, fuel pressure regulator that is feeding uh, this quick fuel 750 carburetor. I'll pop the air cleaner off here in just a second. Uh, that's the extreme air cleaner. Uh, the, you know, obviously you have the typical air cleaner on the side, but then on top gives you a really good flow. Um, most of the stuff is inside the engine. Um, this is not one of those show cars where every single thing has been chromed out. Uh, it's a very functional car. Those are BBK long tube headers. Um, those do an excellent, excellent job. Give it a nice exhaust tone, uh, as you can see. One second, I'll pop that air cleaner um, off. All right. This is the air cleaner off. This is a quick fuel 750 carburetor. Um, look these suckers up. They are incredible. You got the uh, bowls uh, here and here that you can see your fuel level. Um, super adjustable. It's got these huge idle air. Uh, I will say I had an Edelbrock on this for a long time and that was junk. Those are good if you got an old beater, but if you're going for performance you need one of these. Uh, fuel pressure gauge, you know, right there. Oh yeah, there's a double core radiator, a Flexalite fan controller. It's, this thing in a 9,500 degree Florida weather, it will sit at 190 all day long. So no overheating issues here. But make it happen. All right. That is the fuel pump. That is the shift light. I got the. All that right, let's fire this the radio. Up. See this switch controls that. A little bit of gas. This is the sound at idle. You can see it's got nice idle quality. Sits at about 850, 900. 